I've just awoken from another dream. Um, this one was incredible. This was the one of the... Wow. <laughs> um, in this dream, I saw... The, tra the transformation of the sun spoken about in Revelation and in Daniel. It's, I was in a house and I was looking out the window. This wasn't my house. It was a house in a big open paddock somewhere. And I was looking out um, a window and I was playing around with a, an old film camera. Somebody had given me this old film camera and I was playing around with it, like, you know, looking through the viewfinder, taking photos of things and thinking, oh, you know, film, interesting to see how all this comes out. And I was taking photos of, of the sky and then I looked up and I saw, I just looked up without looking through the camera and I looked up and I was, what look, I could actually look at the sun with my eyes. It wasn't too bright to look at it. It had sort of gone a little bit darker and I could see a solar flare leaping out from the side of it. I could actually physically see it with my naked eye without having to look at, you know, look through anything special. And this solar flare started leaping out from the side of it. And I was looking, I thought, wow, that's a, look at that, I can see this solar flare. And it didn't stop, it just got bigger. And then on the other side of the sun, this, this other flare started coming out and, it, and the sun started going a deep orange color. And then it continued and it was like like a rain of fire coming off the sun it started going deeper and deeper color and um the whole sky it, it started filling the whole sky it was like like it was raining down from from the sun it was the solar flare things and, and then they got they, they sort of got deeper and deeper and they started going red and then they started going brown and then all of this stuff started pouring out of the sun and it started going dark and it was like rain and it was like uh, it was it was like the solar flare had shifted from the side around to the front where we were looking at it facing the earth and it started reaching out further and further and getting closer and closer and there was a, a there was a cat in the house that we were in and the cat started going crazy and it was like oh okay um, but I was outside, but I was sort of, no, I was, yeah, I don't know, the cat was inside, I sort of saw the cat from inside, but I was outside anyway, I was outside in this field, but, um, then I, I knew straight away, I thought, this is, this is the Lord's finest hour, this is the day that was spoken about in Revelation, this is the day spoken about of the Lord's return, and I started feeling extremely excited, but at the same time, I had to get down on my knees, and and, and and pray and I started praying and I started asking the Lord to protect me and this is finest hour and I, st I started initially praying out of reverence and just just majestic fear for the Lord and after I started praying like that I, I, I the, the prayer started changing and I just was filled with the most intense incredible love and I was just saying Lord please keep me keep me safe in this your finest hour and I started crying I was in tears it was just tears of joy streaming down my cheeks and I started praying and then I started thinking oh what about all the people who who I know who haven't who you know, who don't who haven't given their lives to God yet and I started praying for them as well and I, I started thinking wow I wish I could find my family right now I want to tell them and I want to tell the guy that I work for, Michael, I wanted to tell him, I wanted to say, look, I, we, we've been telling you this is going to happen. Look, look in the sky. This is exactly what was going to happen. Get down on your knees and pray now. S seek the Lord with all your heart, mind and soul. After this happens, it's too late. This is the Lord's finest hour. He is coming back. And I, I kept praying and I was praying to, and I was just crying tears of joy and I was saying to the Lord, I'm saying, Lord, Lord, this is your finest hour. And I, and I was on my knees, I had my hands in front of me and I was looking down at the earth and I was looking up at the sun and I was looking at the earth and I just could not contain myself. I was just in so much joy. I knew that this was, and, and, and at that point the sun really started turning to a deep black and this, it was like soot and fire and sparks and everything flying off this, it was, they were dark and they were, and the whole, the whole earth, it was like a, it was just everything started turning black. And it was, for those who, for those who didn't know what was happening, it would be the most fearful thing they've ever seen. But for those of us who know that the book of Revelation is going to happen, 
for those of us who know that, it is the most intense feeling of love we will ever feel. It is incredible. Um, yeah, and, and, and then after that happened, I it rolled in the middle of this prayer, I've woken up and I've just grabbed my voice recorder to record this. I just have to share it in the state that I'm in now. I'm in ecstatic joy right now. I've woken up and it's like, wow, I've seen the vision from the book of Revelation. It's like I've seen the sun turning black. I've seen what happens and, and I've felt the joy from it. It is intense. It is, it's, it's the joy that I felt last Sunday with my rebirthing of, of, in the Holy Spirit with my baptism of fire. It's like a way more intense version of that. It's just, and, and that was incredible. That's the most intense thing I've ever felt. So um, for those who, who have not yet given your life to the Lord, who have not yet turned around and accepted that the Lord Jesus Christ is real and that he is living and he's here and he is going to return. He's here with us in spirit right now, living in every one of us, waiting for us to accept him as as, as Lord and Saviour and as our best friend and as our loving guide. I urge you, I urge you, give your lives to him right now. Don't wait. If you are feeling, if you're on the edge of doing that, it's the Lord loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus Christ loves you more than anybody could ever love you, more than you could ever understand. And he's just waiting there. He wants to be your best friend. It's not complex. There's no man-made nonsense that needs to get in the way of any of this. All we have to do is put our faith in him, put our trust in him, give him our lives, take up our crosses every day and walk with him. And with he's... Just do it. <laughs> Anyway, um, in this state of ecstatic joy, I'm going to sign off on this dream right now. Um, and yeah, I might see if I can put this one into a 3D animation. Uh, and God bless you all. This is the most awesome thing I've seen. It's just incredible. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord Jesus Christ. I eagerly, eagerly, eagerly await your return. But I await in patience because, because right now you are with us anyway. So um, God bless everybody and see you next time.